Hey friends, I'm Mitch, and guess what we just did? Another doggy. Guess what we're doing after this? Another doggy. So, yeah, doggy time. It's Christmas time. Everybody wants a doggy. Okay, so we got my Unison. So we had to prototype out the colors to use. So what I did was I sort of made a loose map here of the doggy. You can see that's a perfect representation, by the way. So, yeah, B14 for the upper left right here. Uh, B25 for, like, the top area. 14 and 1. So 1 was this desaturated area down here. And 29 was for this darker area. So we had to sort of wing it. I think it's a bit yellow. You're going to see yellow on the camera that doesn't exist that doesn't really exist. So yeah, the camera kind of butchers that yellow. But when you look at it, it's it just not like that. And the cause of that is the uh, Giro pastel that I have. So this is a Giro stick. This is a 30, oh no, a, yeah, 301. A Giro stick, a looks like a 30, no, 201. 301, what are those? So that, makes it yellow on the camera I'm not sure why so I went over that area with that so it's basically the same we'll zoom in here it's the same techniques that we've been using before there's nothing startling about it so up here on the nose to get these little dots we had to use a colored pencil and of course we used the stay below all marking pencil and the stable all marking pencil 8046 got us the little dots on the nose. So they're big dots up here and little dots right here. So we came in with little dots. Now for the black, obviously we used the uh, pastel stick. In this particular case, we're using new pastel. By Prismacolor, new pastel gives you a nice dark color. So you get the 96 stick. I think they're about a buck each. I use these all the time. So get the new pastel, and the new pastel will give you that nice dark, and the new pastel will give that nice white up here. Over here, we just use a standard pastel pencil. So a pastel pencil for big dots or squiggly areas, a colored pencil for fine little bitty dots. So, and then down here, we got the new pastel and just lightly slathered it and then here we pressed really hard now for the the sort of that highlight under the nose we used our standard stay below all marking pencil i just ordered 20 more of these because i'm down to my last four and they're looking slim so i ordered 20 more is it gonna refocus please refocus Okay, and then for the whiskers, for the whiskers, obviously we missed whiskers over here, by the way. Like that. For the whiskers, we used, you know, a, little, a, little, a few little whiskers, not a lot. We used the Stay Below All Marking Pencil. Like that. You know, a little bit. A little bit of action right there. Here we go. Sorry for the noise. A little bit of action like this. Stay below all marking pencil. All right. Um, for this area here, we came in with a black pastel stick. Again, new pastel. We did some new pastel, some unison. So again, always make a color chart on the destination paper. So here's your paper, and here's your color chart on the same paper. So now I can see exactly what I need to do, and that's going to be held up in sunlight. Don't do it with house lights. House lights are too yellow and you look terrible. So for the eyes, we did pretty much the same thing. So this, we have this frosty area in the eye. So I came in with a white pastel pencil for that frosty area. I came in with a white pastel pencil and just went like that and just made a frosty white. And then I went on top of it with a red. So we just got a red pencil and just went lightly, lightly on the frosted area and made it that sort of bloodshot eye look that he has. It looks really good. And so then you come back with a black pastel pencil and you make the frosted gray, right? So frosted gray. 
up here for the pupil, obviously we did just standard black. We did a new pastel, but you can come in with a colored pencil if you want and make it a little darker. No such thing as too dark of a pupil. Okay. So then obviously we again went with our all marking pencil to make these lines. So we just got the pencil and just remember to push it. Go easy on the hands. Push it. So we just pushed it and made all these intricate little lines underneath here, which look, I mean, terrible up close. Obviously, that looks absolutely terrible. But far away, it looks all right. That looks decent. So uh, for here, new pastel, white stick, got in here. And then for these little marks like that, I just got a... Uh, a standard pastel pencil. In this particular case it was a Stabilo 620. If that's going to focus. A Stabilo 620 got me where I needed to be with just little marks like this on the side. So then with this like this right here I went through with a 620 and I put it on top of the other just to give that. That actually looks really bad. I don't know why but I think it's because this is one solid area instead of this a flowing area type thing. There we go. That looks a little better. There we go. Okay. So over here, again, came in with a brown. So came in with a brown and just sort of made that. Over here, came with a brown and then a little black pastel pencil and did that. So same thing with here. We did a dark brown stick, new pastel stick. And then we came in with a, a, a pastel pencil, a black pastel pencil, and just made highlights or darkened it a little bit. So overall, it was fairly simple to do. And again, over here, we got a pastel, white pastel, new pastel stick. And then on the, on the frayed edges, we did our stay below all marking pencil and just made, you know, some, some edges. Always push, just make those edges like that. So it looks pretty good. That makes it look like it's hair, but you didn't do any work. Okay, so the bottom. For the bottom, we have new pastel sticks. Okay, so we have a bunch of whites in new pastel, right? So we have the pure white. We have the a little bit darker gray, a little bit darker gray, a little bit darker gray. So we use these in a combination to just sort of go through and make you know, a darker gray here, a little lighter gray, a white, a white, a little dark, I mean, a heavy darker gray, etc. And we use this combo to match the values in the painting. So that gives us this nice flow to it. Then we came in here with our all marking pencil and we just sort of, you know, lightly came through and just sort of made a little bit of a hair motion within here. And that gives it that gives it this reality that looks really good because you have hairs with your new pastel stick and more detail hairs on top and that's going to get you really where you want to go and in the gray areas obviously you, you don't want to do this very hard this is going to be light light touch and then on the white areas you want to press fairly hard because you got white coming through here like that so we just do that, right? And just just push again, make sure you do a little squiggle so it doesn't look like the same line over and over and over. And uh, there you have it. It's pretty much the end of the painting. So that's just a lot of practice. And then on these areas here, I came in again with the, the uh, 620 and just sort of made a little, you know, like a little a little bit of a color, a little bit of a color, just like the painting, or just like the reference photo had. Anyway, so that's pretty much it, and that's how you do a detailed dog. Let me know what you think. Uh, standard techniques, I mean, there's nothing magical here. I got tons and tons of videos for the basic techniques of how to do all of this with base coats, how to do all of this with... Uh, with any pastel brand you use, I recommend New Pastel because it's cheap. Uh, if you want something heavier duty, you're obviously going to pick up Unison. Again, I can't stress enough to make a color chart so you can nail the color. The reason this looks good, the reason the person's happy, the reason it looks good is because 
I nailed the color. You have to nail the color, and you can't do that by just looking at a pastel in the, in the box and guessing. And the reason is because all of these look really similar. All of these look really similar. Like, can you even tell the difference between any of these? And yet, there is difference between these. There's a difference between that and those. There's a difference between this and uh, this right here and this right here, even though it doesn't look like it. So again, that's why you have the color chart. Can't stress enough. So uh, overall, this took me about five hours, and I hope uh, you like it. Thank you for watching.